You disgust me. Everything from your fashion sense to your accent that seems to shift between Yoda and about three other different regional accents, I don't really know. Just everything about you, you're awful. Hey girls, don't worry about me. They're all ignoring me because I was so rude to one. <laughs> uh, right. That was an ordeal. But I finally have all eight badges. So, uh, I am going to, let's see. I think I'm going to go catch Horsey. Um, who is down past Pacific Log, I think. Or I might just be able to fish off the side of Pacific Log. I can't remember if it's fishable or not. Yeah, horsey's fishable outside of Pacific Log. So I'm going to go fish for a horsey. Uh, I will switch Satoris to front. Because really, he bloody needs the experience. So, I will fish for a horsey. And then I will go get myself a Bagon or a Bagon. <laughs> a Bagel. I'm going to go get myself a Bagel. Okay, it's level 30. It might actually defeat bloody Satorus here. With his giant glowing red eyes. That's creepy. I don't want to risk attacking it again. There's another fucking plane passing overhead. Netball! Go! Yeah! Nice! Okay, a couple of nicknames for this one. Horsey! I will nickname Horsey Bubbles, which I choose to see as a reference to his male. Which I choose to see as a misgendered reference to the Powerpuff Girls. I guess it could just also be a reference to the fact that he uses bubbles, but still, anyway. I'm back in Meteor Falls. Because I can catch myself a bagel here. And, and a Zubat, apparently. I don't want a Zubat. Oh, I didn't actually teach it. Shit, hang on. I do actually want to use the water pulse, so I'll have to save shitting and selling on it. Uh, shit, shitting on it and selling it until later. So I'll teach it to Minette. Because water pulse is a pretty good move. Uh, and it's mud slap I'm getting rid of. So Whiskash now has her final move set. I think so does um, Sackcloth. Oh, and I was going to do the... Um, oh, shit, I've already put one in the thing. Alright, when I get uh, Sackcloth back out, I'll have a look at um, the stats and use those items I have. Uh, where is Return? There it is. Return goes on Mako. So... Let's see, slash is power 70, return is power anything. So yeah, I'll, I'll replace that. And I think that's... Yeah, that's his full moveset as well. Uh, let's have a look at the others. Who is still missing moves? Satorus definitely is. For started, he uh, doesn't have Psychic yet. But I think I get that in the falls. Uh, and Solar Beam as well, which I think he learns naturally. Uh, what are you missing? Ah, oh, I did have him plan to get, sorry, her plan to get Sky Attack, but I might keep Takedown, because I already have a flying move. So yeah, that's pretty much done as well. And I did plan for Yang to have Iron Tail as a bit of a reference to Ash's Pikachu, but I'm not sure. I'm kind of okay with him having the moves he has. So I'm, I'm pretty much done now for, for new moves. Although I do need to uh, teach Waterfall to Phoebe. Fantastic, Phoebe. Up we go. 
up the waterfall, I'm going to ride up a waterfall on a tiny, tiny fish. Uh, right, so I can't remember the layout for this place. I don't recall the last time I explored it. Uh, let's see. Hello? Is there anything? <gasps> a soul rock! Do that thing where like you, you move the same way it moves so it thinks it's looking in a mirror. And then nut it one. No, I'm not here to battle wild Pokemon that aren't uh, El Baggle. Iron Tail, nice. I was just saying about that, but I don't think I'll be using it. Quick attack is just more useful, especially as Yang has terrible attack, I think. I think they're a double. What do we have? I'll put Minette up. Hello. We've been married for 50 years. The bond we share as a couple could never be broken. Alright. What about the bond you share as trainers? John and Jay. Medicham and Hariyama. Alright. That was a bit difficult, but mostly because Medicham kept defending itself. How dare it. Oh dear, we've lost, my dear husband. I want a divorce. That seems like an overreaction. Young trainer, if the chance arises, will you battle with us again? Sure. I think I need to heal a bit. Okay. Uh, no. Hello. This is where we dragon users do our training. The champion even visits. Now do you see how special it is here? I've met the champion. He's a prick. No. Nicholas. With your cape. Aren't you fancy with your cape? Ooh. Wow, flamethrower did nothing. Rock slide should do more. Nice one, Satorus. Very nice. Why did Flamethrower do so little? It must have a very high special defense. Satoris is level 41. Nice. Bad time he's catching up. Oh, I didn't expect you to be so strong. Well, I like I said, I've met the champion. I want to know more about your power. Let me register you on my Pokenav. Not really connected, but okay. Uh, which side do I want to be on? I think this is the side... Yeah, this is the side with them. It looks like this takes me down to the same place anyway. Oh. This is the cave entrance, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. I think this was the right side. But... Ah, yes. Secret path down here. I don't know how much good loot there is in here, actually, and I don't really know in which basement you encounter El Bagel. Guess we'll find out. I bet it's this one. Oh, Dragon Claw. Ooh. Actually, hang on. My mistake. Dragon Claw is actually something I need. I misread my magical piece of... my magical paper that tells me which things I need to train. I know what my words are talking about. Let's see, that's 60 and 100, that's 80 and 100, so yes. Dragon... No. Sorry. Yes, replace Dragon Breath. Poof. Yay. Dragon Claw, so now now Rainus is fully equipped. Uh, with Fly, Takedown, Dragon Claw, and Steel Wing. That's a nice set of combo moves. Right, so where do I find Bagon? Apparently, everywhere. Wanna know something absolutely shocking? My guide is bloody wrong! Ugh! <laughs> oh. Oh god, seriously, this guide is horrendous. I used to think it was the bloody gospel, but no! Apparently it's wrong a good 
freaking half the time. Right, I'm catching this Bagon. Let's try that again. I'm catching this Bagon. All right, straight away. This should be nice and easy. Ultra Ball. Not risking it, just Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball him hard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, 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 do it. Yes! Yes! Got it! Whew. That's satisfying. So I have the perfect nickname for this, and as soon as I saw the nickname suggested, it's like I, I immediately realised two things. One is that I was going to be calling Bagon that. The other one is that some people really, really, really know how to play to the things that I like. So the winner is Toru. Ah, oh, very clever. And it's female, which is handy. Two people actually suggested Toru. One of them set female as the gender, and with a lowercase t. Uh, and the other one didn't set a gender and had an uppercase t. And sort of, technically that's the one that wins, but you know, they're both the same name, so Toru. And this is of course a reference to um, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, which I'm currently covering in anime style. Ah, oh, right, now, how the fuck do I get out of here quickly? One of the twenty escape ropes, escape, escape, escape ropes. I have. Okay. Whew. So I have Vesuvius here and an egg. So before I go to the Pokemon League, I am going to sort of finish off any unfinished business I have. And one bit of that unfinished business is this egg. Let's have a look at it. So it is making sounds it's about to hatch. So with Vesuvius who is Magma Armor instead of Flame Body, but apparently they have the same effect when it comes to eggs, this doubles the... sorry, halves the um, the, the time it needs. So if I just run backwards and forwards like this on extra speed with Flame Body, nice and quick. Fantastic. Because this way is done. A oh, why not? I'm I'm shocked that a why not came out of that egg. Oh, I was expecting it to be a. Actually, I would have really loved it to be a Skarmory. I did at one point breed Spinder just to see all the different patterns they made. I I named them all like, Cos. Oh, I was like, no, so it was like Celeste, Celesto, Celestu, Celestia, Celestial. You know, loads of different Celeste-based, Celestial-based names. And I wasn't disappointed, all the different they all are different spot patterns, it was really nice. So, the winner for this one is Kirby. Although this is uh, no, this one isn't technically uh uh a unique Pokemon, that's the term. Because there is Mirage Island, so you can technically catch more. But yes, Kirby is actually a girl's name as well. I, I do know someone called Kirby. So, there we go. So that's why not horsey Bagon. It does leave the question of Surskit. So Surskit is still the only unanswered thing that I've previously. Things are still unsure about Surskit. So I'm gonna, I'm still gonna leave it because I do still reckon it Surskit is a post-game thing. So. Uh, I will get my team back together and then head to the Pokemon League. But before I do, I'm going to give out the vitamins and protein for attack. That one goes to Rainus because she uses physical attacks. Carbos goes to Sackcloth because it won't have any effect. Carbos goes to Minette. Uh, special Defense also goes to Minette. And the last is iron. Iron, I'll see if I can put it on sackcloth. Yeah. Because although Yang's defense is lower, Yang is a glass cannon. 
it can hit pretty hard and hit pretty fast, whereas um, uh, sackcloth needs to last a bit longer. In the PC I found some more items. Another car boss, so this one will also go on Minette if I can, nope. It's a Taurus then, yep. And special attack. That goes to Satorus. Alright, I have a few things to sell. Uh, and then I need to. I was also going to go get the shards turned in to get a load of stones and sell all of them because I won't be using any stones. So, Solrak is the hard stone to improve rock attacks. Wish, Whiskash has nothing, although I'm going to give her s the soft sand to improve the ground attacks, although really it should be water, she does have two water moves. Silk Scarf for normal. Uh, magnet, I don't know where I get the Magnet, I'll look that up. Uh, what's the dragon thing? Or flying sharp beak and miracle seed, right. Alright, I've looked up the items I'm missing. Seems the sharp beak you can only get from um, wild Pokemon. Ooh, what do these have? Uh, I'll bag that. Red Shard, nice, bag that. Uh, Rawsberry, bag that. Orenberry, sure. What I'm looking for, however, is this. I didn't realise that Britain had Mystic Water. You'd think that would be something I'd know. So I, I never realised that... Um, uh, cast form came with the mystic water when you get it and I'm sure you're yelling at me in the comments or whatever but uh, the dragon fang is actually found in Meteor Falls so while I'm here I will go back in there and get that oh PP Max so who has a low PP move that I'm likely to use to be honest, I don't rely on any one move that much. I never really bother with PP stuff. I'm inclined to give it a thunder just because it's so fucking inaccurate. So let's see, what will that be? 25 maybe? Probably hoping way, way too much for that. 16. Yeah, I was. But 16, you know, there's an extra 6 chances for Yang to miss. So I probably need the Surf. Sorry, the waterfall. Scrap that, because of my guide's spotty record, really. I looked it up on Bulbapedia, and in fact, the way you get Dragon Fang in Bloody Emerald is it's held by Nicholas's, that's the Dragon Tamer in uh, Meteor Falls, his shell gone after the fourth battle. So you have to battle him like five times and use Thief on his shell gone. What is that? What is that? Okay, so Altarius is not going to have anything to hold. Apparently, because you can only get Sharp Beak from uh, Wild Pokemon, and you can only get Bloody Thingy from that one. So fuck that. I am ready! So, here we go. <sighs> Evergrande City. I don't think it's a very long journey away from here, actually. Down a bit, and then right. Oh yeah, I remember the guy sitting on there, and it's just to the right here, isn't it? 